All right, I'm going to go over corrections real quick. Um, how to give how to give a correction? Okay, there's a few things that you need to remember. Uh, you, you only have two tools when you start training. I trained for over 15 years with just a uh, training collar and a leash. Those are my two primary tools. Um, that's it. Leather leash and a chain collar. Uh, I didn't even start implementing prong collars until just recently into my regular training routine. So, uh, chain collar, leash. These are the only two tools you need to use to train your dog to do just about anything. Um, that's it. It's super simple. But these two tools, have you have to learn how to use them. Um, you really have to learn how to use them. It's not uh, It's not so easy. Take, a, take the chain collar. It's just a chain, right, with two rings on the end of it. It's not, there's, no, there's nothing to it. It's a chain collar. But it can be super, super, super useful training tool, uh, or it can do nothing. Uh, it's not a magical instrument. You have to actually learn how to use the tools. I see a lot of people, they put the chain collar on their dog. Uh, and they think that it's some kind of uh, magical piece of equipment that's going to get their dog to walk calmly on a leash. That's not the way that it works. Uh, if you put a chain collar on a dog that pulls, you're just going to choke the dog. dog's going to choke itself. Uh, they will go through a lot of discomfort. Uh, to do what they want to do. Uh, that's dogs. They're pretty tough little animals. Um, the chain collar, uh, I call it a chain collar. A lot of times it's marketed as a choke, a choke chain simply because of where it lays on the dog's neck, like a choker. Uh, you're not supposed to choke your dog with it. If you're choking your dog with it, you're using it inappropriately. I can't stand the term choke chain. Uh, I like chain collar much better. Uh, now the chain collar, like I said, it's just a chain with two rings, uh, one on each end of it. Um, it goes in upon itself, of course, and makes a loop. Everybody knows that. Um, placing the dog, placing the collar on the dog is really important. Uh, it needs to be, it needs to go over the dog's head like a pea. So the long side is hanging out on the dog's right hand side. P for puppy, P for proper. This is the only way to put a chain collar on a dog. This is the proper way. Um, what happens then if you put it on? It can tighten and it can loosen. You can actually train the dog. See how it's loosening there? So let me put it in front of me. There. <laughs> tighten, loosen. Tighten, loosen. Okay. If you put it on backwards, you tighten it up and it stays tight. It stays tight. And then you're just uh, you're just pulling on a a, a, uh, a flat collar on your dog, and it is not good, and it is going to hurt their neck. Okay, every time you put a chain collar on the dog, make sure, doubly make sure, check again once you get out onto the training field. If you don't see uh, smooth movement while you're training, check that collar. Okay, it's gonna get it's gonna get moved around to the other side. If you're doing good training, <laughs> that thing's gonna move everywhere. So always reach down, make sure that you are getting um, the collar back in the correct position. Don't neglect it, okay? It seems a simple thing. It is a simple thing, but you're really going to have to train yourself to observe that. And most of training is about observation. So that is your first observation. Always, always, always make sure your training collar is on correctly. Otherwise, it's just not going to work, okay? So... That's the correction. I just did corrections for you. Hang on a second. Let's do it again. The training collar goes on. Yes, training go collar goes on. P for puppy, P for proper, right? You've got the long side coming out on the right-hand side of the dog. That's it. That's a correction. And I want you to practice that before you put it on your dog, if you can. Just practice pulling it and releasing it, okay? That's all the correction is. And you can feel it on your arm. Uh, it's not, I mean, even if you do it really hard, it's not hurting, uh, it, it's not hurting your arm. It's not supposed to hurt your arm. Just the action of the tightening and loosening is there to get the dog's attention, okay? So every time you tighten it, you say no, 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 no. My dogs are looking at me. No, okay? It's that simple. Um, let's go over some leash handling quick. I don't have a dog here to uh, demonstrate on, unfortunately. I don't know where they all went. Uh, 
the bathroom lights. I want to look at this time. All right, leash handling, super important uh, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, you, it's easier to give a, a good correction uh, if you have proper leash handling. So let's just go with the basic leash handling here. You're going to put your thumb through the loop, okay? And then you're going to loop the extra parts over uh, your thumb, just like that. Too easy. Now, all of it should fit in your hand, okay? It's going to be attached to a dog somewhere. I had a dog to attach it to, attach it, but they left me, so here I am. <laughs> uh, this is going to be attached to your dog, okay? It's going to hang loose around your dog's collar, all right? It's, it's going to hang down like this. It's, there's always going to be some extra room in here in between uh, the dog. It's never going to be tight because you're not going to pull your dog around uh, and tell them where they need to go. You need that to be loose so that you can have that little extra to give the correction, okay? When you give a correction, it's a simple no. It's a quick tug and release on the leash. It should end right up about right here. No or no or no. You want it to end up here because this is where your upper body strength is. So it's going to be a real quick pop and release. That's it. No, no, no. That's it. No, that's it. It's that easy. <laughs> but you do have to practice. I recommend putting the chain collar on your foot, uh, putting it on your shoe, practice giving those corrections and saying no, 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 no. That easy. You're going to hear it in your head. <laughs> Hopefully you're going to hear it in your head because that's, the what, that's what you have to do. Um, that is the correct uh, correction. Now remember, it's not supposed to be painful. Uh, it's not supposed to be punishment. If you're punishing your dog or trying to hurt your dog when you're giving a correction, just put the dog away. Uh, your dog doesn't need it. Dog's not going to learn anything except that you're a big fat jerk. So uh, do it right, just enough to get their attention. When they give you their attention, then you tell them, hey, sit. Okay? No. Sit. And we're going to get to that when we do our actual training. Um, that's the leash handling, okay? Now, uh, corrections, I want to go over one more thing. The direction of the correction matters, okay? So if I tell a dog to sit and the dog does not sit, I want to give the correction in the direction I want the dog to go, okay? So if I tell the dog sit, the dog doesn't sit, I'm going to give a correction upward. No, sit, okay? If the dog is, if I want the dog in the down position, and then I tell the dog down and the dog doesn't go down, I'm going to give it a, a downward correction. No, down. Give the correction in the direction you want the dog to go. Okay? That easy. Quick pop, proper leash handling, say no with that correction. Give the correction in the direction you want the dog to go. Too easy. You got this. I know you do.